What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. This is a game analysis of my gameplay. I haven't done this in a very, very long time, um, but it feels good to be back. So if you guys don't know, I've been out for nine months with a adductor and lower abdominal injury. It actually required two separate surgeries, two steroid injections, a PRP injection, and just a load of other extra stuff to try to get back on the field. I'm not 100% and to be honest the goal for this game was just to get 20 to 30 minutes but um, as you soon will see things didn't go to plan. So I'm just going to start the footage right now we're playing Western Suburbs and this team actually won the Central League last year so it's a very good side they're a possession dominant team I mean they killed us in possession this game um, but yeah so I actually started on the bench like I said I only wanted to come in for the last 20 to 30 minutes but then in this play right here as you'll see our left center back, we play with three center backs. Our left center back went down with an ankle injury right here. And it was a bad one. Uh, he's in a walking boot right now. I hope he gets back soon. But uh, he basically got carted off the field, which meant that we only had three subs on the bench. And I was really the only defender, the true defender on the bench. So they asked me if I would feel comfortable coming in and playing now 80 minutes. This was like in the 10th minute that that happened. And so I went from only expecting 20 minutes to going okay now try to do 80 minutes so i was a little nervous but i was confident that you know my rehab and everything would allow me to do this and so i kind of just dove head first in and um took on a pretty big responsibility but i think i did okay i mean i had a couple mistakes but that was definitely to be expected after taking a nine month break but here first play of the game i'm taking a touch inside past my defender i don't have much in the center so i pull it back and play it back to my keeper chest the ball back down Keeper does a great ball and I play into my center mid. Uh, I tell him to turn, but uh, he makes a good decision to play out to the other center mid. Wow, it feels, it feels good to analyze my games again. It's been a long time. So on this play, this was actually a bit of a miscommunication, just something that, you know, that's gonna happen with new teams. Uh, we play, I guess, with three high center mids. So I went up for a header after a long ball, heading it back into the center. Something that I always do with other teams where that defensive center mid is gonna pick up that second ball. Um, here, I guess we have three higher center mids and no one was in that space. I should have headed it out knowing that, or I should have taken a look before, noticed that there was nobody there and headed it out towards the sideline. If there was a defensive center mid getting collecting that second ball, then that would have been a good option. But since I headed it back in the center, that was a dangerous ball and that was my fault. A little later on in the game, they have a free kick. I'm at the very edge of the wall right here. And as you see, they play it short. So I run out, block the free kick and actually get a little bit of a collision right there. Um, on this play, another entry ball in. I'm tight on my man as that center back. And as he plays it wide, I'm tight again. He makes a good first touch, but just applying pressure. And as soon as I'm out of that situation, I mold back right back into my spot. And again, we play with three center backs. Right now I'm playing the left center back. So on this play, the goalkeeper throws me out the ball. I have lots of time. So I just take a touch and play out to my left winger slash wing back. On this play, again, keeper rolls the ball out to me. I have lots of time and space. Um, so I just kind of play again to that winger who has more time to take it up the field. And he chooses to do a switching ball. So on this play right here, I have a good touch to control it and I pass it and go for a give and go. But as you can see my touch right there, I just don't touch it where I want to. I should be touching it straight away from the defender, but the bad touch just there's no excuse for that just was not ready um here's another view that you can see here's a better view for the touch i touch it towards the defender i'm trying to go down the field this way and uh counter attack so definitely feeling a little rusty stuff needs to you know it's just going to take time i just can't make those mistakes especially as a center back so here's a 1v1 situation he passes and doesn't give and go and this is something that i really try to uh, reinforce to people to track your man. So I just do a little arm into his chest and follow the runner while he goes just to stop that give and go around me or that one, two pass. So here's, I'm tracking the guy and this is a little cheeky move. So he pulls me down with his arm, his left arm right there. And um, the sideline ref didn't actually see it, but the head ref saw it. So they called the foul. So I was just kind of arguing with the sideline ref being like, hey, watch, you got to see that you're right there. Um, I got talked to by the ref there. <laughs> On this play, uh, again, goalkeeper has the ball, so he rolls it out. I have lots of time and space, so I take a touch into the field, and um, I'm taking it a little bit more centrally, and then I play into my center mid, 
and he plays back to the other center mid, so a little good combo there. So like I said, I am playing as a center back this game, so you're not gonna see a lot of dribbling, and also because I, my body's just not ready for that, I just don't feel comfortable dribbling 100% and doing that kind of stuff. So I need center back's a good position for me right now, especially coming back. I don't know where I'll be playing for the rest of the season. It really depends on what the team needs, but um, I can do it all. I mean, <laughs> I can do uh, whatever the team needs. That's where I'll be. So yeah, like this game analysis is probably gonna be a little bit different than my other game analysis because I was playing as a right back and I've had so much uh, freedom to push up the field. Here as a center back, it's not the same because if I lose the ball, which you will see, bad stuff can happen. So on this play right here, our center man has the ball and he's dribbling towards the center and I'm pushing up to create an angle, but not too far where I'd cut off that angle. I receive the ball, take a dribble, a couple dribbles, play out to my winger and then make a run through. So this play right here, I messed up. Just that's what happened. It was my bad and uh, I acknowledge that and then I did everything I could to not make that mistake again. But I do a good job here to dip in, to draw that guy to the left and then so I can play back to my keeper. Keeper gives me a good ball out wide. I should have taken a touch, I let that ball get away from me. So then I actually got lucky on that first tackle and then on that second tackle, I should have just cleared it out. Just stupid, and, you know, as a center back, I can't lose that ball here because stuff like this can happen. The guy cuts in, um, just a quick counter, nothing special, hits a good shot, good place shot, and uh, scores, a, scores a goal. So, so that's just something that I can't do. I mean, as being the last man as a center back, can't happen but anyway luckily we had a great cross in here by Kim as you can see then toward Davenport scores off a header in the back post to make it 1-1 and that was like a few minutes after I messed up so that's the cool thing about you know soccer being a team sport is that when I make a mistake another teammate or a couple teammates can bail me out with that goal so anyway ball down to the side again I'm dribbling a lot as a center back and it's just a position change I need to get be smart about that and that was I think one of the last times I got caught with the ball dribbling so I did make that adjustment later on so here's a little 1v1 situation a guy on the wing as soon as he turns his back I get up tight apply a lot of pressure and then we do a good job to play out of it and then my pass was off I hit it with the outside of the right foot I'm not a hundred percent confident hitting with the left foot I'll rewind that back right now so as you can see I have the ball and I should use my left foot I, I probably could get away with it. I'm just still a little tentative, a little scared off of it. But even with the outside of the right, I should be able to complete that pass. Just a, just a stupid mistake again. I, it's going to come. You know, nine months. It's been nine months. On this play, uh, one of our center mids plays me back the ball. I have a lot of pressure. So I just clip it into our center forward. He actually wins the header there. But then um, there's no one really running on behind him to collect that ball. Here's a long ball from our goalkeeper off a goal kick. They clear it into the center, and um, there was a whistle blown, but they have a good counterattack. Uh, it goes over to the left side, and a goal was scored. So they scored that right before the half, so it make it 2-1. Uh, the guy who scored, Ben, is actually from the U.S. as well. He played in the MLS for uh, a while. I talked to him before the game. And then, so here's the kickoff. I get the ball, guy coming running at me. I cut inside and then uh, get fouled, get a little contact there. So that I just f take that contact, fall with it, and then we get the free kick. So here's a, a good thing I'm right here. I'm gonna just follow, do cover defense, and when he beats my guy, I can run and then block that cross. So that's a good thing to do is always, you know, especially as a center back or outside back, you have to watch that cover defense. There, I just track the guy and then um, kick the ball out for a throw in. Here's the start of the second half. Uh, I'm playing again in the same position. We're going three at the back. So I'm again, I'm still the right center back as of right now. So on this play, there's a ball through. It goes over our center center back. And then so I just played the ball back to the keeper. I think he makes a good decision to clear it out long here. I don't really know what he had on the opposite side, but I definitely wasn't an option going forward there. So uh, the ball bounces back out to me. This guy's off sides. So I take the touch out wide and play into my right wing back slash winger. Uh, I don't really know what to call him, but uh, so if we dissect this play here, maybe get an arm out there, block this guy going in behind you, uh, track that guy a little bit better because he makes a great run. They reward it. Now he's in behind. He's going up against uh, our center back comes over, does a good cover defense, um, get unlucky with a tackle. Jukes does a good move and then hits it into the far post for a goal. So they scored there. I think this was probably in the 50th minute or so. Um, but yeah, so that's 3-1. So yeah, that's that's tough. 
being down 3-1. And then um, I didn't get it. I, I couldn't find it for whatever reason. But we did end up getting a, a, a player on our team got two yellows. So then we were down a man for the last 20, 25 minutes. Anyway, after the goal, ball comes out to me, playing in the center mid one touch. I get the ball back out, play into my wing back, and make a little run. I have to be cautious going forward because I am a center back in this game. During the goal kick, I'm pushing wide to really create an option for the goalkeeper. He's playing me. I take a touch down the line, play into my right wing back, who plays me right back, and then one touch, play it down the line, and uh, it works out, but then a little bad touch there. Then a uh, goalkeeper plays out wide. It's a good ball. Comes back to me. I have a guy on my back. I play to James, and then I fall back to create an option, but he does amazing to get out of a 3v1 situation right there. I throw it into my center mid. A little bit of a mistouch, comes back out to me. I should, right here, I should play it down the line on the ground with a little bit of curve hard for Kim, for my uh, one of my attacking center mids or forwards. But I try to chip it over the defender. I don't get enough under it, so he heads it out for a throw in for us. Anyway, I get the ball. Now I throw it back into Kim. He plays it back to me, and I just play into our center mid, who, uh, who the opposite center mid does a good job to read that play throw in over my head so my center the center back of the three goes and covers my guy that goes behind me i cover for him so i'm running back into the orange the center so i am now at the center the central center back he does a good job to hold up crosses it in and then uh, it goes kind of over my shoulder and then so i let it come down and then i hit it out almost with the, the laces i could maybe run a little bit further back so i could clear that first time instead of letting it bounce but uh do a good job to clear out of the danger there on this play, ball comes in, he does a good turn, does well. I give him pressure, gave some contact on him, um, but he did well to get out of it. Maybe it was a foul on my part, but they let it play on. And then on this play, as you'll see, this is the fourth goal. So uh, kind of cross up to the top of the box. The guy, Ben, again, the American, he hits a uh, right-footed shot. Here's another angle of it. Uh, I'm right here. James, honestly, our right wing back, I think does a pretty good job closing him down. It's a, it's a, just a well-placed shot. I mean, I don't, I don't really know what could have been done there. So after the uh, fourth goal, I get the ball back and I play into my center, center back. And then uh, we do a pretty decent job to switch the side of the field. On this play, I'm wide, I create an option again get the ball, I cut, and then um, just do a little move and get fouled. Again, I gotta be careful on these situations. Uh, I knew I was in trouble, so when he came and stepped in, I accentuated the foul a little bit, to be honest, and just to get out of there instead of losing the ball. So now we have a free kick there. So on this play right here, the ball goes over into the left winger. Our right wing back does a good job to pressure right here. And then he lays it back up to a, looks like a left back right here. So what I do is I come running out. I'm telling James, the ring back on my right, to stay to the right. And I'm telling Max, my center mid, on my left, to stay on that guy to the left. So that I can go and apply a pressure. Everybody knows where they need to be. And there's no confusion. So then I close out. And he passes it, and as soon as he passes it, I'm turning and I'm dropping in behind my center mid for cover defense, just for this reason right here. Because then the ball, a little scramble, I'm right there. I can be, I can collect that ball, and then I do a little bit heavy of a touch, but then do well with the tackle to uh, kind of clear it out. To be completely honest, I didn't expect this game to be like one of my best games. Uh, I was hoping for a little bit of a game like this where I could play a, a more reserved as a center back. Um, just because it has been a very long time. And uh, I knew stuff was gonna be off. I knew timing was gonna be off. I knew it was a new team learning everybody's tendencies. I knew that my touch wasn't gonna be perfect as it is. I don't have that power in my groin, um, just sprinting and changing directions. So it's it's gonna take a few, a few weeks before I really probably feel 100%. So anyway, long ball clipped into me. Do a good job to head it out. Then my, gets, my guy gets the ball, apply some pressure, and then out on me, so it's their throwing. Their left back gets the ball and plays into my guy that I should be guarding, so I'm tight up on him. I'm 
applying a lot of pressure and making it very difficult. Instead of sagging back and allowing him to turn, here's another angle. I'm right up on him and making it very, very difficult. And as you can see, we get rewarded for the throwing. So now after this play, I move to the left center back. We move to four in the back. I am now the left center back. I got the ball played back to me, kind of clip it in to the forward. Didn't go out to who I wanted to, but we actually maintain possession there. Again, ball comes back to me. I have more time this time. Take a little touch inside to create a little bit more space for me and try to clip it into this guy, number 14, CJ running in behind. But uh, I just didn't hit it where I wanted to hit it. And as you'll see, I have a couple of those. So again, those will, those will come. I got the ball playing to Max who does a good touch here and we uh, are through, we play out of it. Good touch there, that was a little bit difficult, a little bit heavy of a pass there to him. On this play, I get the ball back. I have a guy coming on, on my, my left side, so I try to clip it into number 17, Max. Doesn't go where I want it. But um, again, it's better to lose the ball up there instead of losing the ball back where we are. I need to clean up those entry passes. Um, these, these close ones I'm feeling comfortable with. Uh, ball goes into my right center back, so I start backpedaling to create a better angle for him. I have lots of time and space, so I take the ball, one touch, up the field, and then I play into our left back. Again, ball comes back out to me. I have some time. I'm looking up the field. I see I have space, so I just play right into my center mid for him to switch the, uh, the point of attack. I think there was a little bit of a miscommunication there because our, our right winger or uh, our, one of our center attacking mids wasn't ready for it, I guess. But uh, but yeah, cross in. I had it a little bit into the center here. You'll see in a different angle, I think. But um, I do a good job to get that second clearance. Look, so right here, I had, I should be heading it almost back right where it came. But I headed a little bit too much centrally, and then that could have been dangerous right to 17's feet. But uh, luckily, the ball comes back out to me right where it is, and then I clear it out of the 18-yard box. Our center mid plays me the ball out wide. I have some time, so I cut it into my right foot, playing into my center mid. A little bit of a heavy touch, but we uh, get a little lucky here. I apply some pressure and then out for a throw in for us. On this play, ball goes in to the left back sky. Again, I maybe, probably a foul there. You know, let's rewind that. Let's go a little bit slow motion there. May, it was shoulder to shoulder. I was a little bit behind him. And these situations have a little bit of cheekiness. If that ball, if you think it's a foul, if you just go on, if you start backing up, that ref is more likely to call a foul. If you immediately go after the ball and act like it's your throwing, a lot of times the refs might be swayed to actually give you the throwing. And this play here is a little uh, a, situ a positional thing that I want to talk about. So right here, I'm intentionally staying right in the space. I'm not right on this guy right here because if I was on this guy, right on his back, then there's a lot of space to the right. And if you can see this guy, it's an easy pass right between me and Olivier to now be a little like a fast break counterattack. So he takes a couple dribbles and then there isn't really much and then he plays wide, which is a much safer spot for us. And the ball comes back in and do a good tackle out here and then take the ball down the line. Now right here, I maybe could do a hard driven ball, like maybe with a little bit of curl with my right foot into this player into Kim right here. I decided to clip it longer I just took a peek up so I didn't really see. Now I think that when I do this and do a longer ball up, that center forward for us should be in a better position. I think he's a little bit too far, kind of in no man's land, especially when the ball's in the corner. I think he should shift over. But um, again, this is a new team, I'm playing with new players. These little miscommunications are gonna happen a lot. So on this play, ball's in the center of the pitch right here, but they play in, I do a good job to read it and then intercept that pass. But um, the touch or that, that first interception I did a little bit too heavy, as you can see right there. And then um, I just apply pressure, continue there. And then as I see that I can't collect the ball, I just kind of drop back in my center back spot. Get the ball from my center back as a throw in, touch the ball down. I play out wide to my, to my left back. He plays it right back to me. I didn't feel like I wanted to play somebody, but the option closed up. So I just put the guy on my back. I felt some pressure, got a little bit of clip. So then I, uh, fell down and got the foul. So these next two plays that you'll see are uh, mistakes on my part. So if we watch it right here, ball comes into me, take a touch, control it down. I play into my center mid who plays it right back to me. Here I need to make a quicker decision and I tried to do that central ball and I think that my left back was on there. I should have just opened up my hips, used the left foot to play that left center back. Um, but they got intercepted there, but luckily it didn't turn in it into anything. And then here on this play, the ball comes up and now right here, I'm trying to head it to this guy right here. It 
I mistimed the header and I had it straight into the chest of their, looks like their center mid, and then an easy counterattack that nothing comes out of it, but it's dangerous. So with that header, I either needed to be 100% sure I can play it to Max's feet out there and get it to him, or I just need to head it up and back where it came from. I can't do that, that pass or that header there because then this happens and luckily our goalkeeper comes out, makes a good play, forces him wide, and then we get a goal kick, but that's dangerous. On this play, Charlie, the goalkeeper, plays me out wide. I have some time and some space as, as usual as a center back, so I take a touch in and play into the deeper center back who does a very good turn, plays it out to another player, and now we're gone switching over to the other side of the field. That's a really good play. So receive the ball, take a touch. I think this is the same exact play, just from a different angle. Play into the center mid. Good combo there, and now we're switching the point of attack. This is one of the last plays of the game. Uh, one of their center backs is gonna just clip in the ball, do a good job to win the header right here. Uh, and this time I actually did head it up in a way, instead of trying to go for more of a head pass downwards, which was smart in that situation. And then right here, ref calls the game 4-1 loss. It is against the top team in the league from last year. Western Suburbs is a very, very good team and then uh, just shaking the hands. So first game back, 80 minutes, definitely like I said, I was expecting 20 to 30. I'm really happy to be back and get that first game under my belt, but there's a lot of work to be done. So anyway, that's the video. I hope you guys really liked it. I'm having a very good experience in New Zealand right now, training a lot, just trying to get healthy. I have just so much physical therapy and exercise and everything to strengthen back up to my my full self 100%. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of this and uh, Hopefully this will be a continuing series now because hopefully I'll be continuing to play in the games and hopefully get better and better clips for you. Anyway, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hey.